The book sets out a comprehensive plan for us to end Might Makes Right for resources and to get out of business with the men of blood abroad. The key is for our countries to switch our energy supplies away from authoritarians towards alternatives and also for us to stop buying conflict minerals. We need to change our own laws enforced on our own soil so that we no longer say might makes right for foreign natural resources. That'll let us go shopping with clean hands. That will preempt some of the impossible foreign policy dilemmas that the resource curse keeps forcing on us. And it'll also make big coming global challenges like climate change easier to solve. So the pressure points are all political and commercial. And the book is full of tools that citizens and consumers can use to drive positive change. So for example, citizens can pressure politicians to pass clean trade legislation. I've set up a website which shows which oil companies do more business with authoritarian regimes, and people can use that to decide where to buy their gas. Toys are mostly made out of oil, so we might organize a toy cot against Chinese toys to encourage our friends in China not to buy authoritarian oil as well. I'm not saying that this is going to be easy, but it will be easier than ending the slave trade or liberating the colonies. I try to be careful in the book to show where the challenges will be. And I also hope that the reader will see that there's a feasible and responsible plan for us to drive change forward. The book really does show that we can be tremendously positive that transformative global change is possible. We really can take the next big step in human history. In fact, it's right in front of us. The next really big moral revolution is right ahead.